And our fourth main topic today gets submitted to us by Benson Wright. And Benson Wright writes in, Hey, John, I know you and Rob touched on this once before, but with Frances McDormand now officially winning her third Best Actress Oscar, does it now become impossible to keep her out of the GOAT conversation? Greatest of all time, for those who don't know. Why do you think she doesn't get nearly as much recognition or credit as some of the other greats? All right, thanks a lot for sending that in, Benson. And yeah, listen, Rob, you and I did touch on this uh, before briefly. Because we talked about, you know, Frances is nominated for Best Actress. She's probably the front runner to win going into it. And if she does win, she will end up being one of the very few performers, male or female, to have three Academy Awards on their mantle. And she did it. She won. For the third time, Frances McDormand has won the Best Lead Actress Academy Award three times. Only one other actor, male or female, has ever won more. Only one. And you want to talk about impressive? Take a look at the company that Frances McDormand is now in. She now joins with three Academy Awards in six nominations. She has joined the GOAT of all GOATs, Daniel Day-Lewis, with three Academy Award lead actor wins. And notice they're all for lead actor. None of them are for supporting actor. Right. He also did it with six nominations. And of course, unlike The Rock, who makes 25 movies a year, Daniel Day-Lewis would make like one movie every four years. Um and, and Frances McDormand has a little bit of that in her too. She doesn't make movies left, right, and center. She makes she does not make a lot of, a lot of movies. Anyway, uh, Ingrid Bergman has won three. Two of them were Best Lead Actress. Only one, and one of them was for Best Supporting Actress for Murder on the Orient Express. The great Jack, Jack Nicholson, has won three Academy Awards. Two of them for Lead Actor for One Flew Over the Cuckoo's Nest and As Good As It Gets. Oh my God, I love As Good As It Gets. I, I can talk about as good as it gets all day. Anyway, and one of his awards was for Best Supporting Actor for Terms of Endearment. The Street Monster, pretty much acknowledged as the goat of actresses in Hollywood, but the Street Monster herself has three Academy Awards, two of them for Best Lead Actress in Sophie's Choice, one of the greatest female performances of all time in any movie, and The Iron Lady, and she won for Best Supporting Actress for Kramer vs. Kramer. The only actor male or female that has as many best lead actress academy awards as francis does now and actually has more has four is the great and immortal Catherine hepburn who of course morning glory guess who's coming to dinner one of the all-time classics the lion in winter and on golden pond so she won four no other actor male or female has ever won four except for Catherine hepburn other than Catherine hepburn no actress has ever won three Best Lead Actress Academy Awards ever. Other than Katherine Hepburn, Frances McDormand is the first one to do it in like 40 years. She's the first one to do it in like 40 years since Katherine Hepburn. So the question becomes, how much and how quickly should she get into the conversation of the when we discuss the greatest actresses of all time, Rob, very, very rarely does Francis's name come up. Is it remotely possible now to not have her name in that conversation? Every time she's in a movie, she kills it. No, her performance in Nomadland, you and I were talking before the show started today. I, I was telling you, man, every heartbeat of that movie, I was engrossed in it. I like a simple little story about this woman in a van. And I couldn't take my eyes off the damn thing. And a, a lot of that, of course, is because of Chloe Zhao's directing, which we'll talk about in a minute. But a lot of it, of course, is because of Francis's performance. She just does that. Whether it's three billboards or Fargo or this, she just brings it like a damn powerhouse every single time. And now she's the only actress in the world other than somebody named Hepburn that has three lead actress Academy Awards on her mantle. And only one guy has it. And that's Daniel Day-Lewis. Only, that's it. That's the company she's in. She's in the company of Daniel Day-Lewis and Katherine Hepburn. Is there any way not to have her in the conversation of the goat of actresses right now, Rob? How do you see this? Uh, 
<laughs> you summed it up, man. I mean, there's no denying she's one of our our most gifted actresses uh, that we've ever seen working in motion pictures. And, um, you know, and she's so she's so diverse and she's able to just inhabit roles, whether uh, if they're regional, you know, or if she's playing the mother like in Almost Famous, which I love. Uh, you just you you uh, I can't imagine she'll never let you down. And um, she's been doing that for now also decades. And it's amazing. Like last night, not only did she take she took two top prizes because she produced Nomad Land. Yep. So she got a best picture <laughs> statuette. I mean, amazing, dude. It's just she's what an incredible force in film. And she's married to one of the Coen brothers. So it's <laughs> it's just like I, I can't imagine somebody who represents the best of Hollywood, the best of cinema than she does. Let me ask you this then, because uh, I think we have been guilty of this too, Rob. I I, th I know I have been. I think both of us have been. When we are forced now to kind of look and reflect on what she brings every single damn time when she's on screen, and now that she is setting the bar as far as Academy Award wins and things like that, why is it that... When real conversations in movie fan circles come up about, you know, greatest actresses of all time, she is never really mentioned. Like, what what is it about her? I mean, is it the lack of she stays away from big blockbusters? Is it, I mean, I, I don't know. What do you think it might be that has prevented folks like us from really talking about her and, and until she wins her third and we're like, oh my God, yeah, why have we never talked? I don't know. What has left her out of that conversation up to this, this point, do you think? Well, I, I have a theory. <laughs> my theory is she is not glamorous. Mm. You know, she's, she's not, what I love about her is she's not some, she's not like Catherine Zeta Jones, whose beauty is uh, her, her traditional, you know, vamp it up. Beauty is hard to ignore. What's great about Frances McDormand is she brings peak verisimilitude. She looks like a real person, you know, as opposed to say a Hollywood starlet. So when she's in a movie it's, and she delivers a performance like she does in, a, in Nomadland or like she does in a Fargo, she becomes absolutely believable in the role. And I think that you forget that you're looking at a movie star. Like, I think she truly is. Is she a movie star? That's why we don't think of her that way, because she's never bigger or she never overshadows the material that she's in. And when she's in something, she becomes a part of that material, an integral part that you can't imagine. Like, can you imagine? I mean, now we have a Fargo TV show, but the movie Fargo, can you imagine anyone other than her in that lead role? It's impossible at this point. It, I can't, you know, I can't, can't even picture you it. Can't, you can't do it. And it, 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 it's like that's what she has that nobody else has. And even, even Meryl Streep, Nowadays, when you're watching Meryl Streep in a movie, whether she's going to play Margaret Thatcher or she's in The Devil Wears Prada, she's great, but you're always aware that you're watching Meryl Streep. Mm -hmm. It's always like, I'm watching Meryl Streep. But when you watch Frances McDormand, she becomes those characters to the point where I'm not thinking about Frances McDormand, woman married to one of the Coen brothers. I'm thinking about the characters she's playing as she's playing them in the movies that she's in. And that's a really rare quality for any a male or female actor in Hollywood. I remember, uh, and by the way, I know a lot of you guys haven't seen Three Billboards outside of Ebbing, Missouri yet. Watch that movie. It Not only did she win an Academy Award for it, Sam Rockwell won his Academy Award in that. But I remember seeing Sam Rockwell and uh, Woody Harrelson, who were both in that movie, and both of them were up for Best Supporting Actor uh, for the same movie. And I heard those two guys being interviewed and they're like, you know, all three of you are nominated, like the, the, the three main leads, Sam, Woody, Francis. And they were like, like, what's the, you know, what's, what's the secret that all of you guys get these, uh, the, these nominations and Woody and Sam were just like, it's Francis. Like we literally just walk on set and we just suck in her radiation. 
Like we just, she, she just casts this thing over the whole set and we just feed on that. And she kind of leads the way. And when you've got actors of the caliber of a Sam Rockwell and a Woody Harrelson, like talking about like you in those types of terms, that's rare. And, and that that's special to see. Anyway, guys, what do you guys think about this? Frances McDormand becomes the first actress since Catherine Hepburn to win three Academy Awards for Best Lead Actress in a Film. Only Daniel Day-Lewis, other than Catherine Hepburn, has done that as well. What do you guys think about that? Where should she be in the conversation of the greatest of all time? I mean, I still think that's probably the street monster, but... But, I mean, she's got to be in the conversation at this point. How do you guys feel about this? Jump down into the comments section below and let us know your thoughts. Okay, guys.